Hey, hey guys, that's uh, Savvy Tech Girl here. I am going to do a little video today about screen capturing. Uh, I have a lot of people that are interested in making their own videos for YouTube. Uh, they might be interested in maybe do some um, game playing, doing some online streaming, uh, maybe just of your desktop and then you can do some editing uh, using some maybe Adobe software, um, maybe just your iMovie, maybe you're using Windows, you can use uh, Movie Maker. I just want to go through, just show you a couple of basic steps to get you started. It can be a little bit overwhelming. Um, there are lots and lots of possibilities, but let's just do this as sort of a step one, um, beginner's guide and um, lots of different softwares out there for the uh, video capture and screen capture. Um, there is actually a couple that I'm using currently on my sister's uh, my system. I use the Screen Capture Pro, which is what I am currently using um, to capture this video. And um, this is the one that I'm going to show you today. So it's called Open Broadcaster Software. Um, is no cost for it. It's not a dime. Um, it says here there's no subscriptions, no payments at all. It's available to everyone and the source code is publicly available. Okay, so it's on GitHub for anybody who would like to contribute. So pretty basic, you're going to go to, um, you can either Google the Open Broadcaster software, so obsproject.com where it is located, and then you're just going to pick your system. So it's good for um, all Windows versions, 7, 8, and 9, or sorry, 7, 8, and 10, there is no 9, um, OS X uh, 10.8 and plus, and Linux as well, right? So simply what you would do is, I'm on a Mac, obviously, right now, I would go into the OS X, okay, and it's going to take me to the download area, so I can click on download. And then it's going to obviously put it into my download. So I have already installed it. So let's just go through and do an installation here. It's pretty quick. It's not a large file. Um, it can be a little bit overwhelming. And again, I am simply going to do some basics here. Okay, so I'm going to do the installation. This is going to guide me through. Um, obviously, you've got your readme files. Okay, so it doesn't take up a lot of space. Um, pretty small program. I'm not going to change the install of where I'm putting it. I always put everything into the same area when I'm doing this. And then it's just going to install the file. So this is the actual program you would use for screen capturing. And obviously what I mean by screen capturing is whatever is on your screen is what you would like to record and edit for later. Okay, so I have successfully installed it, and I am hoping that my old icon has automatically updated to the new version. Okay, so it's just going to boot up here. It's just going to take a little while just because it's the newer version. And it looks like actually it's still the old version, so give me a second here. And let me see if it's upgraded it for me. Well, it looks like it's still the same. Anyways, we'll we'll jump into this one here, and um, we'll get going. I'll just start off with a new area. Okay. So by default, you can see. And sorry, my hair's all over the place here. Sorry about that. <laughs> Um, by default, you can see that we're doing a screen capture right now through my video capture device, which is my camera. So I can easily delete this scene by clicking the minus. It says, do I want to remove that scene? And I can say yes. Okay, so I currently don't have any scenes, but what I would like to do is I would like to capture my desktop. So. Um, just like creating a movie is exactly what we're going to do here. So I'm going to click on the plus sign under source and I'm going to call it desktop. Okay, so I've called it desktop and right now it is blank. But under sources it doesn't have anything. So it doesn't know at this point where to look, 
what to do, what device to use. So if I click on the plus sign here, it's going to give us options of what, what do we want to capture, what do we want to look at. Is it going to be an image? Is it going to be video? Is it going to be audio? Is it going to be the display? Uh, is it going to be window capture, game capture? So a lot of times this is what it's going to be, is game capture. Now I'm going to click on the game capture and let's um, call it, uh, well we can actually leave it. So let's leave the name here. Now what you need to make sure you have done in the background is you need to already start your game. So your game would be running in the background at this point. I would click OK and under my sources here you would actually see that game listed. So if you were playing Minecraft for example and you were to click this drop down, if Minecraft is running that is what's going to show and at that point that's where you click Minecraft. Okay, so again this is going to be very basic. I'm not really going to get into any of this cropping or anything at the moment. But what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do a game capture right now. I can edit that. I am going to say I would like to capture my display. Okay, so I I want to look at my display and I'm going to again call this desktop capture. Okay, so we can see that this is my desktop. So this is my desktop here. You can look and this is just a preview. I only have one display connected. If I had two monitors, two displays connected, it would show me that here. Okay, so I can move this out of the way a little bit and you can, as I'm moving it, you can see again that is my desktop, so that's moving around. So if I go over here to the actual, it's a little bit confusing because this here is the image of the program which is the OBS which is running here. But as you can see we've got some red outlines here. You can actually resize Okay, so you can start adding extra things. So if I were to resize that and have this as my desktop and I can move it around. So now this is my desktop and the additional area is just a work area that I could add things to. Alright, so let's say that I wanted to leave it at that size. So whatever I do now on my desktop, it is going to be recorded. Okay, so I can either do start streaming or start recording. I don't have to stream using the software. Um, I can just simply record. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And then, you know what, the other thing I want to do is maybe I want to do a bit of advertising on here. So if I click plus and I say text, okay, and there's so many different things you can do. So I'm just going to put an ad. And these will be saved for you. You can use them multiple times. Okay, so I'm going to say Savvy Tech Girl is live Thursday at 7, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, I can select my font, I can go in, I can change colors, um, I can bring up here so the fonts, you can do different types of fonts. Right, whatever you would like to use. Click OK. So now I can actually move this advertising to wherever I would like. I can size it. Right, so I can do that. I can double click it again. I can go into my settings. Oh, sorry, cancel. And I can. Um, use text files. Maybe I've already created a text file in a different program. Um, you could change it. You could add that to it. So you can also do chat log mode. So if you have a chat running, um, it'll actually start logging the last six lines of chat. So that's something that's handy too. Right. So you can see that I've, so I've done this and I've set up my desktop. So whatever I'm doing on my desktop will come up here. Um, and again, under your sources, so I can add as many sources as I would like to this. And if I wanted to do another one, I could put an image. Let's say I'm going to put an image. So I'm going to call it logo maybe. And then I just find my image that I want to use, right? So I can browse just like you would do any other program. You can go through, I can say uh, YouTube videos maybe, I've got some backgrounds. 
All right, so I'm going to put that in there. So I can also have this, and maybe I'm going to put that in that corner. All right, so you can see how it starts to pull together, and this is just going to be one um, screen capture. So I've, here's my screen capture, and then here's my advertising and stuff. So if I click on Start Recording right now, okay, I am actually going, this is recording. It's saving to my computer, whether I'm using a desktop or whether I'm using a um, laptop, maybe an external drive. Um, and you can see that I'm 15 seconds into my recording. Okay, my CPU usage is only 24%, so that's, that's pretty good. Um, if you wanted to add additional seeds, you can do fading in, fading out, you can cut into them. Um, and then at this point, I'm going to say, okay, I'm done recording, and I can say stop recording. Okay, so that is a very basic, um, just to sort of get you going, maybe play around with that. Um, from here, obviously, you can create another scene. So let's just say I'm going to do another scene, and we'll call it camera. Okay, my camera, again, doesn't have any sources. I can add a source, and I can go into, um, let's do a video capture video capture device that's fine and I pick the device so I'm built I've got a built-in camera obviously my hair is going to be a mess that's fine right so and then I just um, pick my size that I want to use so auto select it but you can change to whichever size you want and then just click on OK again you can resize so this is where if you're doing gaming you want to put this in the corner and then I could also at this point say, okay, you know what? Then I am going to put my game capture in here, right? If I had one already set up, I could just click on add existing. You don't have to keep making these every time. You can save them. Next time you go in, it'll be into your add existing. And then I can click okay. I would pick my game source that that would come up at that point. And my game would be running here. So again, you can see that you've got the crosshairs of the red they would be running and my picture would be up at the top so I'm playing the game I got my headphones on whatever um, and then that game would be streaming there okay if you're gonna start streaming obviously you would click on the start streaming button there's some um, links you need to have from YouTube wherever you're going out to but this is just a basic screen I hope helped you. I hope it'll help get you going there's lots of free software out there for um, screen and uh, screen capturing. Um, this is, again, you are not using a screen capture device. Your device is your actual desktop computer. We're using one video card here, nothing special. Uh, make sure you've got lots of memory. 16 gig, I would recommend for sure. Um, we all, I'm only using one monitor here, but as you can see, by creating scenes, and by adding sources, you are able to overlap, you're able to add different things to it. Um, you can add media sources. There's so much that you can do um, just off of the uh, system that you have. You don't need to spend a lot of money. I can say the software is free and um, there's you have so many possibilities of what you can do with it. So I uh, hope that helps you guys. Uh, like I said, um, it's a learning curve, absolutely. I will. I can put some more videos together uh, if you want to get more and more into this, but I just wanted to get people started. And, um, you know, obviously, like plus or minus, you can always go in here um, and do a minus. Are you sure you want to remove the media source? Yes. And you can start taking things out just as quickly as you added them. Any questions, please feel free to contact me. Uh, SavvyTechGirl at gmail.com on Twitter at SavvyTechGirl. Check out my blog, SavvyTechGirl.com, and you can find me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash SavvyTechGirl. Thanks, guys. I hope it helped you. 